Hi and welcome to Meet the Candidates 2018, a voter education program sponsored by the Shakopee Chamber and Visitors Bureau. My name is Angie Whitcomb and today I'm joined by City Council candidate Jordan Olson. Jordan, thanks for joining us here today. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. To kick this off, why don't we start by having you give the viewers a little bit of your background and the reasons why you're running for this seat. Okay. Hi, my name is Jordan Olson. I'm a lifelong Shockley resident. I'm 31 years old. I, uh, I currently work two jobs downtown. I'm a karaoke host every Sunday night. I'm also uh, the assistant manager of Turtle's Kitchen downtown. Let's see, uh, my community involvement, a little bit over the past uh, few years, I've ran for council twice before. Uh, I was on the Utilities Commission for a few years there. Uh, I was on the Scott County GOP as a secretary for a few years as well. And lately I've been uh, managing an online blog called Concerned Citizens of Shakopee. Perfect, well thank you. <clears throat> so Jordan, I'm not sure if it's real or perceived. Hmm. You could ask everyone in the community and we'd get a different answer from everyone probably. But it seems that investors are pulling out of projects or shying away from projects in our community, citing an instability and an unpredictability in our city politics. How do we restore that predictability and stability so that investors feel comfortable bringing their projects and their money here? How do we do that? That's a good question. I think fresh faces would, uh, are needed on the council. I think some fresh blood and fresh ideals in there would really uh, I think uh, investors would really appreciate that and it's very exciting to see mm -hmm. so many people running this time around. Um, I think the, the council needs to set policies and follow them that, that will set an example for not only investors but other boards and commissions in the city as well. Uh, I think that the council has got to work together regardless of personal differences of, of one another. Mm -hmm. This is the future of Shakopee and I hope to help change it by doing everything I just said. Great. All right. So. TIF seems to be the hot button around town. Yeah. A lot of people hear it, not mm -hmm. a lot of people understand it. Can yeah. you define tax increment financing for our viewers? Sure. Tax in increment financing is defined as a public financing method used as a subsidy for redevelopment, infrastructure, or other community uh, improvement projects. I can tell you that it started in California in 1952, and it was meant for blighted areas of inner city, urban areas that, you know, may, might have been affluent in the past but have since fallen into decay um, and it's been the topic of a lot of controversy some people think that it can lead to something called gentrification which has some very controversial undertones uh -huh. um, it varies and from state to state in its application different states work differently um, in how they use it it's also known as community revitalization levies in Canada or CRLs mm -hmm. so there's also the form of it there in other countries mm -hmm. So. so when do you think it works? When does tax increment financing work? Mm -hmm. Well, it works initially. I like to think of it more like a shot of adrenaline into the arm. It can get you pumping, you know, at first, but, you know, the consequences can be different over the long term. Okay. Maybe not always great. Okay. So as the Shakopee Chamber of Commerce, we are unapologetically pro-business and mm -hmm. pro-Shakopee. How is your agenda pro-business? Well, that's, a, that's another good question. My agenda is pro-business. Well, I'm community-based, okay? I think that's a very, very good thing. I work well with others, and I'm pro-infrastructure. From being on SPUC for a few years, taught me a lot about uh, the bedrock and the River, River Valley area, the, the watershed district and whatnot. I think working together with business owners and keeping an open mind mm -hmm. uh, and just overall a, a good attitude mm -hmm. uh, towards them. I think there's been some contention the last mm -hmm. few years, mm -hmm. which I think it's shying people away from it. So um, what can I do for the businesses of Shakopee? Um, bring uh, my open mind and, and a fresh view to the council. Great. So at several city council meetings, we'll hear reference to uh, comparisons between Shakopee and other communities yeah. that are seemingly doing well. Sure. What communities do you think are doing well and what lessons could we learn from them, if any? Okay, well actually there is one community that stands out in my mind. Okay. That is Oak Grove, Minnesota. Okay. Um, they, they are a little smaller than us in population, however we were just in a very similar situation so, so short time ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, my short life here I've seen this town grow from I think a little under 10,000 to 40,000. Mm -hmm. That's pretty incredible. Now, what I like about this council is their ability to work together. Again, mm -hmm. seeing past personal differences. They've been able to maintain the city levy with a 0% increase mm -hmm. for the last several years, which is nice. They've taken a lot of heat for some of the actions they've made. So they work together regardless of you know differences and they are able to 
reach goals mm -hmm. by sticking to them, sticking to policy. And I think that they've done an excellent job in doing that. I would like to do that here in Shakopee. Okay, great. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What's been your greatest learning opportunity to date? And how would you transition that into, if you, should you be elected, and why should the voters vote for you on November 6th? That is another really good question. I, I admit I struggled a little bit with this one mm -hmm. because how can I take one incident in my life and, and you know say put it above the others? You know mm -hmm. what? Every day is a learning opportunity for me. I love learning new things every day that just blow the mind and, <laughs> and, and give you a new perspective. So I would say that should the people of Shakopee choose to elect me for the said reasons, everything I, I brought to you today and I'm hoping to keep the message going, mm -hmm. um, I will use this as the biggest learning opportunity for the for the well up to date in my life anyway so Great. I hope that answers the question. It sure did. Uh -huh. Is there anything else you'd like to add to ask the voters for their vote on November 6th? Sure. Um, once again my name is Jordan Olson and I'm running for City Council because I want to make a difference in this community. I love making a difference in this community and I plan on continuing to make a difference in this community in the future Great. one way or another. So thank you for your consideration and your time. Thanks for being here with us today, Thank Jordan. You, I appreciate it. Yep. As, as always, the views expressed in these interviews are those of the candidates and not necessarily of the Shakopee Chamber and Visitors Bureau. We provide the Meet the Candidates Forum at, to you, the voters, so that you are equipped to make an educated and informed vote on November 6th.